is your local election headquarters. It's only been three and a half months since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. But here in California, abortion rights will be front and center on the ballot this election. Fox 40 Capitol reporter Aton Wallace joining us live with a look at what voters will be asked to consider. Aton. Well, Nikki, what voters will be asked to consider is a ballot measure seeking to enshrine abortion rights into the California state constitution. It was a ruling that drew immediate reaction over the summer. The U.S. Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade. Abortion on demand and without apology. For the 5-4 to four decision, abortion rights must be left to the states. Here in California, Democratic leaders, including Governor Gavin Newsom, quickly made clear their thoughts. Women are treated as second-class citizens in this country. Women are treated as less than. Women are not as free as men. That's pretty damn sick. And that's why the governor and Democratic lawmakers in the state legislature say they're backing Proposition 1, a statewide ballot measure they argue will enshrine abortion and contraception rights into the California Constitution. Supporters say such a move is necessary in a post-Roe v. Wade society. Naming these rights in the state constitution, that makes it much stronger. That ensures that regardless of the political whims or political shifts in California, the right to abortion and contraception is truly protected for generations to come. A poll from the Public Policy Institute of California found 69% of likely voters in the state support the measure. Still, the governor is not taking any chances. Women are under attack. He's spending two and a half million dollars of his own campaign money to air this ad across the state. Yes, on Prop 1. Californians deserve better than Prop 1. Catherine Hadro is with the No on One campaign. Proposition 1 is extreme, it is expensive, it is unnecessary. She says Prop 1 will do more than just enshrine abortion and contraception rights into the state constitution, expressing concerns it could allow an expansion of abortions into late-term pregnancies. That's why she says she's organizing rallies like this one outside the Capitol. Today you saw our diverse and broad coalition coming together. We may not see eye to eye in a lot of things, but we all agree that Proposition 1 is too extreme. And the measure needs more than 50% approval to pass. Reporting live here outside the California State Capitol, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.